Hey guys, welcome to another video and third day in a row we are talking about this ROM and this device. Yes, this is the K20 Pro. Yes, this is Abik's ROG ROM and today we're going to check out how to install it. It's going to be a relatively short video because the install process for this is pretty straightforward. But I'm also going to answer a lot of your questions. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our telegram community please go ahead and join us there you can get your questions answered you can follow us there and we can have a lot of fun last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going Alright, so first things first, you want to install Abik's ROG ROM on your K20 Pro. So what do you need to do? Now there is a recovery that is linked in the description, which is Orange Fox latest version for the K20 Pro. That is the one I'm using, that is the one I would recommend you to use. How to flash it? There is a dedicated video on how to install a recovery on K20 Pro or any Xiaomi device. Go ahead and watch that video. And of course, to flash the recovery, you need to have an unlocked bootloader. Now, before you get into all those things, first thing that I would like to recommend, make sure you have more than 50% battery. Make sure you've backed up all the information because the setup process that we are going to follow involves wiping everything on your device including internal storage and remember this is unofficial this is a custom rom if anything goes wrong neither the developer nor phone ops is responsible but don't worry i'm going to guide you step by step and you should really not have any major issues now that we've got all of that out of the way there are just a few files that you will need first things first as i said have the bootloader unlocked and install orange fox second thing all you need is the rom file the link is there in the description. You just have to go ahead and download it from there and copy to your phone's internal storage. Or you can use the pen drive or flash drive method because this device doesn't support a SD card. Now in this case, what we're going to do here is first I will boot into Orange Fox Recovery and we will wipe everything. So to do that, press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the Poco, Redmi or MI logo because these are three different devices, but the process is exactly the same. So there we go. The image might be a little too bright for your liking. Please ignore that. Okay. So now we are in Orange Fox. Now, as you can see over here, it directly booted into recovery, which means I am not encrypted. All right. But don't worry. I will show you the complete process. So from now on, all your data is going to be lost. So if you're encrypted, decrypted, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Just go to this bin, go to format data, type in Y E S. Yes. Okay. All right. Now go to don't do reboot system. Go to reboot and go to recovery. So you've got to reboot to recovery. All right. Now go to wipe. So Dalvik cache system vendor data internal storage. Now see here we are wiping everything. I don't even care for the vendor at this point. The reason being this is a MIUI based ROM and it will have its own vendor built in. So now that we've wiped everything, don't reboot the recovery, don't do anything. Just connect your phone to the computer like I am going to do. So now that the phone is detected on the computer, we will go to the location where you downloaded the ROM. Now, in your case, if you don't have a computer and you are going to download it to phone's internal memory, I would suggest have a pen drive or something ready because I would highly recommend doing a format data and doing a complete wipe before installing this ROM because that ensures that you get the best of experience. So for me, it is located on my computer. So ROG edition, there it is copy and paste it to your phone's internal memory now this copying will take you know around 30 seconds to a minute depending on your pc because the rom is around three gigabytes so please be patient while that happens all right so once the file is copied to your phone's internal memory go to this step select the file and swipe to install now as i said this is a rom which is around 2.8 to 3 gigabytes so of course it will take time for you to flash it this will take anywhere between two to three minutes it will take five to eight minutes to boot up 
सो प्लीज बी पेशेंट योर पेशेंस इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉलोइंग दिस मेथड फॉलोइंग दिस स्टेप इट विल डेफिनेटली वर्क फॉर यू द ओनली थिंग यू नीड टू टेक केयर ऑफ इफ यू आर कमिंग फ्रॉम अ ओ एस एस रॉम एंड देन फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम देन इट माइट बी अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी बट इफ यू आर कमिंग फ्रॉम अ एम आई यू आई वेंडर और अ एम आई यू आई रॉम और एनी थिंग ऑफ दैट सॉर्ट दिस इज द वीडियो यू नीड टू फॉलो स्टेप बाई स्टेप एंड यू शुड बी गुड टू गो we will wait for the rom to be completely flashed and then we will look at the boot animation all right so the rom has been flashed and as you can see over here it does a bunch of things so you can go ahead and wipe cache okay and then select on reboot system now as i said this will take anywhere between 5 to 7 minutes so let's wait for the splash screen or boot animation and let's see if we have something different There you go that's the republic of gamers that's the full form for ROG and that is the boot animation you have pretty minimalistic and futuristic kind of like that let's wait for the phone to boot up and then we should be good to go all right so what feels like an eternity later will be a split second for you the phone has finally booted up so don't be surprised if it takes up to 10 minutes to boot up because it did take around 6 to 7 minutes for me to boot up so you will see a white screen because the brightness is through the roof in the setup i'll just quickly skip the setup everything is something i would like to skip over here let's select our language as english united states all right so after skipping through the setup we are on the home screen and if you go to about you can see that it says this is a bix rog edition let me quickly go ahead and turn the dark mode on okay the animations are working great and as you can see over here we are on the rog edition now few things that i need to say before i you know go ahead and end this video the links are there in the description and if you have any issues you can join our telegram group i will try to help you there okay you don't need to flash a custom kernel because the kernel that is included in this particular rom the gaming is pretty decent on that as well the kernel is perf kernel so everything is fine there the charging everything else and if you have any more questions about this particular rom please go ahead and watch the full review or the initial impressions or the gaming live stream that pretty much takes care of all the questions you would ever have related to this rom let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye